So this is Stacy, and she is part Lunderhund. I'm trying to get her to put her head back. She doesn't really understand what I want from her. I'm using a piece of cookie to entice her to put her head back on her own because I feel sorry when I see those pictures of people putting their forcing their dog's head back for a photo. Anyway, she's only part Lunderhund. Um, she can't close her ears and she doesn't have the six toes, but she can put her head really far back. She does, she can't close, yeah, can't close her ears. Anyway, um, she does have a very light colored Eddie Munster pattern in her, in her face and um, she has that really deep groove in her forehead. I forget what that's called, but beagles have it, and uh, the Lunderhund have it. Lundahund. I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, um, you might notice like how far she can rotate her head. I wanted a video of how they're able to put their head back on their own and how they can rotate their necks and how kind of long their neck is. She's mixed with something else. I think it's a greyhound and so her hair is very sparse on her belly and she's always wearing sweaters. I just wanted to get her to do what she's able to do on her own without any help. Then I have another video of her um, with a little help and it's very mild compared to some of the photos and some of the in one of the videos I've seen online. So I will show you that now. So here she is with a little help. I'm just using a finger. I, yeah. I thought people might enjoy seeing even what a part Lunderhund can do. Um, her, she does have the double joint in her, um, or the extendable joint in her shoulders. And when she um, runs after something, she spreads her legs really far out first and then takes a lunge pulling her legs inward as she so her front feet end up coming in between her back feet the way a um, greyhound does but she spreads them out far when she goes to take that grab of the ground with her front feet um, the way that the Lunderhund opens its legs. So she's kind of using the two um, breeds. So now I'll show you a few stills, um, kind of like screenshots I did during the video. This is her just doing her own thing. I am barely, barely touching her. She went with the encouragement very easily this time. And that's the one that you saw in the last video. This one is a close-up of her uh, back of her neck touching her shoulders. Another closer up view of her. screenshot of the video. 
can't remember if I showed this one, but it's just, you know, how far she can rotate herself. Pretty much even with her spine or a little bit over sometimes. This one is a screenshot from the video. Here's a screenshot of a dog that is not a Lunderhund and does not have that ability. But he does look cute. This little guy is all over the internet. He is a Lunderhund or a Spitz and I think this one is the Spitz. He's not the Lunderhund specifically, but he does have that ability. He's probably a mix. Here's an internet screenshot of the little spits in the upper right, a Lunderhund on the upper left, and an uh, Lunderhund um, spreading the arms the way my Stacy can. This is a screenshot of someone enjoying what I enjoy. I wasn't able to get her to cooperate, but I like when she does this to me. We call it kissing upside down. And we, I tell her to do it by saying, wanna be weird? Let's be weird. Kiss me upside down. And she'd give me a kiss like that. I don't have anybody to hold the camera and that's part of the problem. Here is a video I did trying to get her to um, bend her head back. I was wanting to get that picture of the kiss, but it's really hard to keep the camera on the dog while getting her to get her head back. But then she's just sitting on my lap. This is what I love about her. Oh, not the only thing I love about her. She's extremely smart. Here is a photo of her leaning her head back and you can't see it, but she's got her tongue sticking out too, so she's really cute. This is a nice shot of her with her precious little face, pink and white. And she has a super long, sneaky tongue. She will put it in your eyes, in your nose, in your ears. You gotta be like, watch out. This is one of my favorite angles to take a picture of her when I see the whites of her eyes and her little brown intense look in her eyeballs. I have candy in my mouth. She wants that candy. She likes to take the candy from my mouth. So she is very much also a feist. When I first got her as a puppy and she started to grow, she started climbing trees and I didn't know about tree climbing dogs. I thought She's going to get her toe caught and torn off or her foot stuck. And so I started teaching her not to climb the trees. But I figured out pretty quickly she's a also tree feist dog. This is a picture of her extremely pink belly in the winter time, but in the summertime, she tans and it's full of little mocha or yeah um yeah mocha colored spots this one is stacy on the left and darla on the right darla is her sweetheart So Stacy likes to groom her hands and when she does this I call her luxurious and I would see her crisscross her arms like this picture and I would tell her oh how luxurious you look and she would get this face on like yes I am and she'd start licking her paws and showing off about how luxurious she is.
She knows a lot of words, conceptual words, like around, behind, under, in, over, um, empty. She knows a lot of things. In the winter, she uses a potty in the bathroom that I've built over the toilet. Both her, her sister, and my bunny do that. These are my favorite little photos of them. This is Stacy when she was a puppy, learning how to do signs, kind of like sign language that I invented for her so she could speak. And she's learning to say yes. We're practicing doing it with her head, but she's getting confused and keeps repeating the way she had first learned with her paws to tap your leg and say, yes, I want. But I'm trying to expand on her um, vocabulary, I guess you could say. Here hey, Stacy. Here she is you learning go, how to wanna go say potty yes. outside? Use you her do? Yes. Say it. What do you want to do? Potty outside? Yes? Okay. Want to put your wings on? Come on. You like your birdie wings? I say birdie? birdie because dogs do, do not this? know what angels are. Do you want that? Do you want? Hey, hey, do you want this? Do you want to be a birdie? Do you want to put it on? Do you want to put it on? You do? Are you putting it on? Come here, let go. Let go, let go. <laughs> you can see in these videos her face really... You know, some people will say she looks chihuahua, but... She's, oops, she's, um, let me see. Okay. She's got a different look. Hi, Stacy. too broad. Do you want to go outside? <laughs> Come here. Let me tell you. <laughs> so... This is when she was a baby. Um, she was kind of heavier than a chihuahua, like stockier. And I thought it was kind of funny because I thought she was a chihuahua. Um, and I considered that she was the Jack Russell, but she didn't match that either. Her tail is really curly and she has those um, ears like a like a greyhound or a whippet, a little bit too, too big, uh, floppy ears, you know, and uh, they're button ears like whippets have. So, but her face was thick and she, she looked like, um, I used to tell people she was a miniature pit bull and they believed me <laughs> because she was sturdy. So here she is learning to use her yes and say it with her head. Uh, we did. I started her out um, with learning how to say yes with her hand tapping, but I wanted to use the hand for I want, um, not as much of an agreement. So here, she, here she is. Hey, now you know, Mom. This cookie, see, do you love it? Yes, you do. Do you want it? Yes, good girl. And you could see in her face that she's just not quite Chihuahua. You know, it's she's got that deep groove in her, in the front of her nose. Her nose is slightly turned up. Her um, her eyes aren't truly buggy, and she has long 
and button ears. Um, yeah, she's just super cute. Here she is extending those luxurious arms. And uh, you can see her face is just something different. She's not got that chihuahua face. I just so love to dispute that. But um, Anyway. So I was just going to kind of let it play along without the sound. Notice how she'll use her paw. That's her sign language. She would sit in, in the window and see kitty cats outside and start tapping her foot, saying, I want to herself in her own, you know, in, in her own little world. It was so cute. Just a quick little shot of her using her potty box before she gets too into it. <laughs> I gotta get up. Here's a picture of my bunny using the same potty box. And she's looking over the edge saying, do I get a treat? There's her little tricks that she left behind. Here, as usual, she has two layers on, and she also has a little crooked uh, bottom thing that pushes her lip up in such a cute way. I call it a crooky face, because it's cookie face, but crooked face. Very cute, and those ears are just huge words can't express here's some of the pictures that I don't like looking at even though I know they're not hurting them it just looks like they are I think this picture shows some of the breeds I'm talking about. Uh, she's gotten older. She's about seven or close to eight years old now. And uh, her hair has lightened a good deal. So you can't see the white hair that was around her eyes or the golden that used to frame her eyelids and, um, you know, kind of make that Eddie Munster look in her, in her face. Um, but you can see her nose has kind of got that turned up. She's got, um, it's not an apple head. It's not got those high peaks above the eyes. It's more like, um, King Charles face. Like if you just picture certain breeds without the hair, um, and the Lundhund, she definitely has features you just have to picture a lundahoon without all the hair um she's pretty bald from the sides down and under and then she has some pretty coarse hair across her back and on the back of her neck i'm saying these things because i imagine if people have lundahoon mixed breeds they might be wondering is mine lundahoon you know what defines what what sort of definitions do they have uh, when they are mixed breed so anyway this one is a good expression um, you can see her coloring has faded but around her eyes uh, but you can still see that there is the that almost like a tricolor look to her face which even in a chihuahua is rare because if they have it, it's, it is usually a lundahund. I did pick up a stray and rehabilitate him and get a, give him a home. Um, but I already had too many dogs myself, but I, 
I took him in off of the streets and he had a very Eddie Munster face, like a Lundahoon light brown eyes and um, he was definitely Lundahoon. Here's one where you can see her summertime spots. This is not as dark as they get. Here's some of her spots. This is how dark she gets. And in this picture, you can really see her, um, her Eddie Munster forehead, you know, how his, he had a widow's peak in that show, the Munsters, and, uh, her golden is coming down. She's got some of that tricolor. You can see the golden in the front, some of the, um, mocha color on the sides of her head. And... Here, she's looking pretty thin. <laughs> she's not normally that thin. And she does have the heavier paws than like chihuahuas have. Here you can see the Lunderhund markings. They're, they're faint because she's pretty much a white dog, but she has a, you know, a golden patch on her back and um, her skin is just super, super soft uh, all over, but she has coarser hair across the back of her neck and down her back. Other than that, she's pretty much naked and quite cold, but you can see her ears are very much um, the whippet ears. And she has an underbite, which... Um, you know, that's not really whip it. I'm not really sure where she gets it from, but something terrier, I suppose. I think it comes from the uh, tree feist because they breed them with, with terriers sometimes. Here's an example of what you might see when they have the uh, flexibility here in her um, in her shoulders and arms and let's see never mind <laughs> losing it all trying to keep my photos discreet but it's not working anyway um, this one I wanted to show because of the profile she has the upturned nose and it's a little bit wider um, heavier boned for uh, chihuahua types or fine types and even with um, whippets and greyhound like her her forehead is very formed so she reminds me a lot of um, the King Charles Spaniel and the reason why I mention this is because we had a um, breeder that lived nearby when she was found and brought to me and um, he was he had hunting dogs of different kinds so now this one shows her underbite a little bit and kind of um, exposing her turned up nose thing she has an extreme sense of smell, um, and she looks like she's supposed to have been a hairy dog, but have somehow lost it because she's full of like wrinkly baggies under her neck, and her skin is loose, like the kind of dogs that have a lot of hair but get shaved, and then you notice their hair is really, or their skin is really super wrinkly. <laughs> I think this picture brings out that her eyes really are not buggy, they're not real huge, and how her snout is a little heavy, like a little bit more round, but still boxy shaped, kind of on the boxy side. 
So she's got that, just picture the Charles Spaniel shaved, red with a whippet, and you get those type of ears because her eyes are kind of a cross between the whippet and the Charles Spaniel, but at the same time, you know, Charles Spaniel just can't do what she's capable of doing with her neck and arms. So the thing too with Stacy is she's very um, assertive, slightly bossy, um, doesn't always have a lot of empathy, but is capable of learning it if you teach her. She's not a biter, she has never bit me, not ever. But she does do this weird thing when she protects her sister, when she thinks her sister's getting in trouble. And I call her sister, they're not actually related, but when Darla gets a scolding for something, Stacy will get in front of her and she will hunch her back like a cat with her head really far low, facing you sideways. And um, her tail will tuck under her legs. She looks just like a uh, a fox or a coyote or or a, a wild cat, you know, with her back really, really hunched. You almost expect to see like a a fluffed out tail and just puts her, her chin like an inch above the floor. She just looks like she's ready to attack, but she has no intention of attacking. She's just uh, posing and saying, don't hurt her, you know, don't yell at her, don't make her feel afraid or she just runs to her and defends her and um there's a thing i i taught her to choose a hand so if i ask a question i shake one hand like if i want to know who did it did darla do it and i shake one hand for darla i say did stacy do it and i shake the other hand for stacy and she'll she had lied to me a few times saying that um that she did it when in fact i videotaped him and caught it was darla doing it so um she's and, and normally she never lies because if you ask her if say you're eating pizza and you ask her what is this is this with your left hand ice cream and then your right hand pizza she'll choose your right hand pizza and then if you switch it up and you say with your left hand is this pizza or is this with your right with your right hand ice cream she will choose your left hand she's very very smart um but just really interesting things that she does that are not like any other dog i've ever had and i never will have again so anyway i hope this has been interesting to you